was so excited. It's been three years since I first had the opportunity to sit down with the legendary filmmaker, photographer, Norman Seif. Out of his years of working with thousands of the world's greats, Steve Jobs, Martin Scorsese, to the Rolling Stones, to Alicia Keys, to Ray Charles, covering actors and writers and directors and physicists and musicians and politicians and athletes. As he calls it, they are the secrets and keys to the creative process. And he's about to put his work out, and we're very excited to talk to him today uh, about that. One of the keys and secrets to the creative process is that everything creatively emerges in the mind, in consciousness, in imagination. And the dilemma and the challenge and the excitement of being an artist is how do you take concept, which is creation in the mind, emerging out of imagination, and bring it down into making it real? Okay, we're rolling, right? We're rolling, yeah. We are rolling. I actually wanted to say that um, um, a lot has happened since the last time you and I sat down together, personally, professionally, and globally. So, um, but anyway, I'm excited to sit with you again today. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I was just like flooded with just things that I'm going through. And I also find the, the shift in consciousness very exciting. But then sometimes I also get very um, guilty about that. Not guilty, but I feel like it's such a duality because there's so much pain and there's so many people suffering. And so I pose that question to you. How do you navigate this incredible time that I know you're going through? It's interesting, the, the question you brought up, because it is, it is core. And what's going on is the world is in turmoil. It's in crisis. Mm -hmm. Uh, people are disoriented, mm. they're scared, they are in pain and in rage, but they don't want to talk about it. And who do you talk about it with? Um, Even if people want to talk about it, who do they talk about uh, it Well, it needs to be an, a dialogue that is initiated. Mm. And there are those of us <coughs> who are looking at the reality that we're living and saying, how do I take charge of the reality rather than just living on automatic. Now, just as to give it a core of understanding, mm -hmm. is that, and I'll use, maybe it was Picasso, but a lot of people have used this. In order to create, you need to destroy what was to do something new. And it's not destroy people, it means clear the space, clear the weeds, mm -hmm. and allow for something new. And as frightening as it is, mm -hmm. we are on course we are moving towards the end of an old paradigm, of an old chauvinistic domination, hierarchical, um, people are competing with each other, against each other, projecting a, a world of enemy, and how do I survive in that world? But in fact, those systems are breaking down because there is a new world, and it's been said for eons, the new world, but. I just want to say, people, it really is happening. But it's just interesting to be able to be present as it's happening. And I find always every day, I'm like, I'm like, I have like the highs. I'm so like excited about my own consciousness, my own growth, my own being more of myself. I'm more of myself than I, I ever have been. That's right. exciting, right. right? And that's a beautiful way to enter the world and every day. And there's dread. And there's dread, now, and there's, oh, dread of, tell and, me. Well, no, well, well, dread is an interesting form of fear. Dread is the imminent experience that what was is no longer going to be. So true. So what's interesting on the waking up process, because some people wake up and immediately withdraw. You know, I don't want to see what's going on, or they don't want to wake up and they stay asleep. Or you're waking up and you're realizing, I better get to work because this is not automatic. It absolutely demands active participation and interaction. And the beautiful part of it is that there is so much possibility to waking up. That's what hope is. Hmm. Hope is about there's a possibility to evolve consciousness to a new set. But what's key is we are in a positive crisis. Now, it looks negative. Yeah. The positive crisis is that there is this cycle of creation, 
of an idea, say a paradigm, maintenance for 2,000 years, we're going to maintain the concept of masculine domination, right? That was creation of, an, of a paradigm. It's been contained. And then there is the destruction because the destruction is required for that to change because on the other side of destruction is new creation. So is it that sort of like nature's cycle? It, it is the cycle of life. Mm -hmm. The four parts, creation, maintenance, destruction, new creation. Mm -hmm. We are going through the most powerful time right now where as intense as it looks, this crisis, mm -hmm. it is a crisis of the destruction of all the old systems. You've had the great privilege and the great honor of connecting, photographing, talking, crying, drinking with the world's greats across all the disciplines. So was there a pattern that you could say, well, at the highest reaches, it's, it's very beautiful and humanity shows itself to be beautiful with true beauty. But then I thought for the first time as you were talking, is it you that are holding the space for that beauty to emerge? Deep down, I was looking for the beauty. By um, focusing on creativity and because of what's happened in my career, being given the gift of being able to talk to and work with the world's great creators, I have been able to see something the best way that I articulated for me is who are we when we function at the higher reaches of human creativity and you begin to see the goodness truth and beauty of the potentiality of us that was the biggest thing I found from Ray Charles as I worked with him I realized you know he started pissed off and then I'm I'm you know because he wants he nothing to do with I'm me I'm laughing because as as a person who has to run a session and is being paid to get a shot. That must have been like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I have to deal with this? Well, I knew that I could break through that. It was The way I could break through it was to do what I've learned to do now is almost like uh, as an instant energetic of, of resonant is to say, hey, I love you and I care for you and I want to know you and I'm going to be real. And that took a long time and a lot of scotch. <laughs> Uh, right. to learn to be real and then to learn I can do it without that. Right. But the point is that what I did uh, with him was suddenly he was like fascinated. Mm. And we ended up having one of the most articulate conversations I've ever had. All instruments whip you. Believe me. Whip you. That's right. All instruments. Because sometimes they won't do what you want them to do. Uh -huh. Of course, the instrument will say, no, it ain't me, it's you. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> the instrument talks back, you know. It just sits there and dare you to play it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> have you, well, I was going to say, have you, have you ever whipped the piano back? Not, 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 you, you, you never can overwhelm an instrument. All you can do is get to the... Uh, you can bring yourself to your own competence, uh -huh. but there's always more left in the instrument. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? Sure. You will sure. never get out of all, all of this piano what's in it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, the, you know, absolutely. an instrument can bring you to your limits. Yeah, but I mean, isn't that really what creativity in a sense is about? Yeah. If you can think of it. Right. See, that's the key. Right. <laughs> you know, make it, to create it in your mind. You know, it, it's it's the tool for transformation. Yes, of yes. Yeah, you, great. Got, you got it. That's great. what I'm talking about. Yes. That's what I mean. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. See, now why not think of that? <laughs> and I realized that he wasn't looking to get the love. He was so in love with what the gift that he had that it was about giving. That's generous giving. That's the goodness that is in them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so with the artists, I was exploring the light shadow. There are some of them that are allowing that out in the most beautiful way. Yeah. Now, it doesn't mean that they were integrated people, right. sometimes just within their field. If you'd, and this is one of the biggest secrets that I discovered. I thought that creativity was going to be my, my savior. But what I realized as I was doing it, it's not enough. You have to do the spiritual work. And if you don't do the work across the board and deal with your ego that is trying to dominate. And 
the ego can be changed from a separated uh, ego, which is the ego is the individuated self, yeah. but it became separate from other people. Where it can mature is to be individu individuated. We don't want to lose our individuation, right. but we want to be connected. Yeah. So can you be individuated and connected? So that's the why you have to do ego work and yeah. you have to do shadow work and you do your creativity, but the creativity is not, not, not going to do it alone. No. What's more important for me, I wanted to make what I'm talking about now a real emotional experience. And the best way for me is to work with those people that have, have enough courage to jump across the boundary into the unknown, beyond the physical boundaries of self. Mm. and experience uncertainty and out of the uncertainty bring in uh, uh, something that's innovative. And what I mean by that is there are certain artists that are willing to not live within the safety of their old boundaries. They are boundary dwellers, but they are go beyond the boundaries into the uncertainty and the unknown. But those are the ones that were profound to me. They, there was a, a celebration to them of the, the, the ecstasy of creation. It's almost like they knew somewhere they were in Without concert the languaging, except that when I started else. talking to them with my languaging, they're going, right. right. Like I started going like, yeah, I could do, this is really satisfying. Right. There was a satisfaction there that couldn't be matched. There was an know? inside experience yes. that can be called the ecstasy of creation. Yeah. And it's yep. from multi-layers down and in and it comes yeah. from inside out and you may not have words for it but it hit you at a certain point yeah yeah we call it the glory train uh -huh. sometimes uh -huh. yeah because it's the thing that you aim and aim and aim for but when it happens you're kind of looking the other way and the, there it is yeah because yeah. you're living it and it's yeah. suddenly it's yeah just big it's one of the needs to create and produce and if you lose that need or that need is suppressed or you don't believe you have it, you go into pain. Because as you go through the needs, safety, security, belonging, self-esteem, creation, production, meaning and significance. And the seventh one is your spiritual recognition, the beauty of self and realizing that there, we're more than just this physical being trying to survive. It's like there's a hunger and thirst and that's why it's important for us to create the maps and we ask people hey I, here's a map that worked for me don't follow me here's a map that you could use and follow your own create your own map i love that idea that that kind of makes me feel a little bit more relaxed <laughs> the, the, <laughs> if there's such a thing <laughs> that i can feel relaxed but just the idea that there's a that that all you can do is be, uh, be more of yourself and, and do the work. And, and just by the nature of doing that, it almost like, I see it like it throws up to the it matrix about change. and it changes yeah. the fabric. I'm, I'm trusting that what's going on right now in that uh, the, the paradigm shift that's happening and the old system that is breaking down is part of the evolution of the human consciousness that there are shifts happening in the temporal lobes would have which have to do with new kinds of perception right we are expanding the, ev listen evolution has always happened right choice is becoming more empowered but to the world it looks like oh my god oh my god you right. know uh, the sky right. is falling right a lot of people are waking up all at once and they are all stepping into a different dimension and the evolution of human consciousness is not just happening by biology, it's happening by conscious choice. That's huge. So the whole idea to do the work that I'm doing and use the vehicle of creativity is a way to let people have experience to say, hey, I'm gonna step into my own uncertainty. Mm -hmm. And the artist is going to know how to do that. And then we dance together and in that moment creation is the act of love because we are willing to be ourselves and tell our story that's so beautiful and, and you can see it when people leave your session there's so much love and connection right and that's such a beautiful gift creativity is love's work every act of creation is the way people tell their stories 
And if people can understand it, it's not to, I want to get the love. No, I want to show you who I am. That's an act of intimacy. Yeah. Where when you connect with your, your full range of emotion, that you become familiar with yourself. I now know that there's a huge awakening taking place, that the future is about a, uh, a collective um, realization that we're all part of this evolution of consciousness by conscious choice. Mm -hmm. There's been evolution, is to repeat, that didn't have conscious choice in it. It was just it, it's yeah. evolution is I taking place. I want you place. to articulate that for us to consciously evolve. Evolution has always happened. It's happening all the time. It's happening right. biologically and uh, automatically. Yes. But imagine a consciousness that says, I'm going to specifically evolve and evolve and give it direction and design because of vision. And that's why vision, you see, I have a vision as, as you have a vision. There is order in the chaos yes. that when you become aware of it, you can use that to consciously shift uh, evolution in a direction that you designed. We're moving from creation, maintenance. We're in the healthy destruction of the old mm -hmm. to make space for the new. And crisis means it's like old uh, patterns are being disrupted and they can disrupt and automatically be replaced or they can disrupt and be consciously replaced by something we choose at mm. this point. Lovely. That's the evolution that is conscious. So choice is becoming way, way more empowered and the ability to make choice and the ability to create and manifest is going to be within our uh, authority and our permission. That's empowerment. So we are moving into the realm of conscious, empowered reality creation as a state of uh, consciousness that everybody in, in that particular set is participating in. We got it. Oh, oh, Norman. <laughs> oh, man. Thank I you, love darling. It. Uh, you are the best. Uh, and we have more fun with you than anybody. Yes, we have. Well, I got to tell you, man. Thank you. This was a ball. So. <laughs> You're just so incredible. Thank you. Thanks, Never worked like this before. Oh, man. It's a leap of faith. We're done. God damn. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're a fight, man. Thank Good you. Job. I think we have it. Don't you think so? You're a bad boy, man. I am. I have so. Mm. Thank you for a lovely experience, my darling. Thank you. This was awesome. Thank you so hey, much. God bless you. Yeah. Give me a hug, Norman. Yeah. See, I was in banking on that. Thank you. You're good. Man. Thank you. Thank you. I think we got the session. Yes. Okay, man. Hey! Hey! I'll give a We got it. We got it. Ray, thank you so much. Oh, come on, it's Ray. such a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Well, see what I like. You did yeah. just what I like. Is yeah. Get in there and let's do it. Yes. Right. Yes. No time, man. Because I come to work when I play. I play. Yes. But when I work, I work. Yes. I like that. You, you, you got my heart. Yeah. Thank you. I want to say uh, thank you. It's been, I guess, three years since you and I sat down together. Uh, it's been such a pleasure, Norman Seif, to uh, work with you, for you, uh, alongside of you. Thank you for sharing your beautiful work uh, with the world and your beautiful soul with everybody that uh, you encounter. I'm honored to be asked.